myself um, and my system, not having that ongoing bill from electricity uh, is amazing. And the, the gas bill is almost paid for as well through the export that we mm. build up over the summer. So we're not really spending a great deal on our bills. And none of those are really factored into the, the proposals we make to customers, especially with load shifted on batteries, because it's virtually impossible to do that. You don't know what tariff they're going to move to. We've spoke about that before on on the podcast. So my payback on my system, paying full market rates for it, is ridiculously quick mm. when all of that is is factored in. And it's just that ongoing expense not reappearing every month. And I guess it's like if you if you lease a car or something and then all of a sudden you get the bulk of money together and you just buy a car and you're not paying that month to month. Yeah, you've taken a significant dip in maybe your savings or, or whatever, but fundamentally you, you've got that cash flow every month that you're not having to fork out and worry about. And I wish I'd done it. I wish I'd done it years before we did, to be fair, because we've only had solar on our house now three years since we started, actually, because that was one of the jobs we did in our MCS process, mm. to be with everybody. Um, but yeah, I think it's one of those where you look at the kit and you're waiting to get started with it because you want the next bit that's coming down the road. And really, the big excitement is your bill's going away rather than what kit you've got screwed to a wall and starts. The sooner you start, the sooner you're saving. 